Hi, let's continue our discussion on continuous random variables. So in the previous segment, we said that uh, the way we describe the distribution of uh, random variables, which is continuous, is to use this uh, probability density function, f. Okay. So this function defines the, uh, uh, the density of the probability that uh, you're going to find this random row x at some point but this this again this density is not the mass okay okay so it it might get high at some point get low at some point and get extremely high at some point but if the range is so small the probability that you're going to see something in this range is going to be small Okay, all right. So this definition, uh, uh, this this density describes the probability according to uh, this this uh, equations. So we we gonna say that the probability that x belongs to some set. So this is a set of reals. It may it may include uh, a range or something like any kind of set. Okay, and you say that um, x be the this density function describes the random variable x if uh, you take the integral over the range b, uh, all right, the set b of uh, f x dx. Okay, so let's see some um, some more example. Okay, so that you kind of understand this uh, concept. Okay. So um, okay, so. We're gonna use some. Uh, we're gonna prove. We're gonna show some various facts, and and this would serve you as example. Okay. So suppose this set B that we have is the whole uh, whole set of reals, reals number. Okay. All right. So with the previous definition, um, we're gonna say that this is uh, if we have f x, if f is the density. Uh, probability density function of x so this is going to be equal to the integral from minus infinity to infinity of fx dx okay but we know that x is a random variable so it should take some value okay so the probability probability that it belongs to the real numbers is going to be uh, one right because this is the this is the sample space for x. So this has to be 1. Okay. So this uh, from the axiom. So this is from axiom. The axiom of probabilities. Okay. So from the axiom of probabilities, it in, this implies that uh, this term has to be equal to 1 as well. So what does this mean? Okay. So if you look at one example. Okay. So if you have a continuous random variable y. And it is a real uh, that is a real number chosen uniformly from this range. Previously, we looked at the range zero one, right? So, um, so it's it's uniform. So the prob probability density uh, has to be equal for every possible value in this range, and it has to be zero outside. But what exactly is C? So you have to look at the previous uh, fact. So we know that. The if you take the integral over uh, all the f all the density of y, y, it has to be equal to one. Okay, but this is uh, because y is always zero outside uh, this range, so we can just say that uh, this is we can just take the integral only in this range. Okay, f y d y. And this is uh, f y is just c, right? Right. So uh, c d y from zero to ten, and we know that this is uh, it's going to be just c y, right? From zero to ten. Okay. So if you plug them in, so this is equal to ten c. But uh, we know that this is going to be equal to 1, so C is going to be 1 tenth, okay? 
So this is like uh, in the case of uniform uh, random variables when you have 0 to 1. Okay, so it's spread out. So the, the height is 1 because the area under this curve is, has to be 1. So this is 1. That's in the previous example. But if you have this to be 10, then we have to maintain that the area. So the integral is just the area under the curve, right? So you have to make sure that the area, so which is, this is the probabilities, has to be uh, sum to 1 as well. So the area has to be 1 uh, from the axiom. So with this, we know that uh, the, the density has to be dropped down to 0 0.1. Alright, so let's look at another fact. So if you want to figure out, uh, given the dense probability density function f, if you want to figure out the probability that this random variable goes uh, belong uh, to this set, so it should be between a and b, so what's the probability? So again, uh, we can take, so the set is just from a to b, right? It includes a and b. For continuous random variables, the ends, either you take them or just leave them, doesn't really matter. We're going to see that later. Um, Alright, so uh, this is going to be equal to the integral from A to B of fx dx. Okay, so let's look at example. So if we have a continuous random variable y, so the same random variable, and we have figure out right that uh, this uh, distribution is um, uh, the density is one tenth, and uh, the it is zero other, otherwise. So what's the probability that y is at most seven? So from the definition, so this is y is gonna take value minus from minus infinity to seven of f y dy and that's uh, you can ignore the the rest of that right so it's going to be fy dy so then we can plug them in this part in right so let's plug them in uh, so it's going to be from 0 to 7 1 tenth dy Okay, so let's uh, just solve it. So it's going to be y over 10, right, from 0 to 7. And if you put them in, you're going to see that it's going to be 7 over 10. And this is pretty much uh, intuitive because uh, you have this uniform thing. This is 10, this is 0, 0 and you have 7 here. So the mass here has to be uh, 1.7 because it is uniform, right? So we look at something other than the uniform distribution pretty soon, okay? All right, so now let's take it a little bit further. So this is, uh, what's the probability that, what is this? So x is at least a and at most a. So this is the probability that x is a. So if you follow the definition, it's going to be from the derivative from a to a of fx dx. And whatever you did, you do to solve it, this would turn out to be zero. Okay. And um, the reason for that is that for continuous random variables, the possibilities are uh, infinite. Okay. So the probability that you're going to land exactly at some point. Okay. 10, 1 is, is going to be 0 because you're not going to land on it. Okay? So, um, so that's, that's why uh, um, when we talk about either we can, uh, when we have the range A to B, we usually say uh, uh, to exclude the N. But you can put that in as well. doesn't really change much anything. Okay? All right, so the question of the segment is this. Uh, we've seen um, the uniform distribution already. But now, so let's suppose we have a function uh, that's, that is uh, given by this. So the density, if you plot the graph, 
So the density increase so from 0 to 10. The density increase as a function of x. So like that. So this is the have you ended the curve. So this is fx. This is x. Alright. So uh, the density increase o over the uh, uh, the value uh, according to the value of x. So let uh, the question ask you to figure this out. So maybe there are many ways to, to deal with this. There are some which does not even require any uh, um, calculation of integrals. But uh, you can try to do it the, the, in the straightforward way, figuring out C. And then uh, do the integral, or you can do whatever you like. Try to